so I will save it here and as you can see NWF was created here so let me just uh, reset it here and if in future you want to choose NWF it'll be open very fast and it, it have saves uh, for these items so let me again go on open and let me open NWC this time as you can see there is no information here so it means if you want just to save all of the changes that you had on your file like uh, I don't know markup or everything like that you have to save it with NWF for sure or even you want to have some changes that you uh, just want from the model that it shows them into NWC so I will just create an NWF that I can see it in future and be careful that for sure the main file should be next to the file that you create as an example if just I want to just come here let me just close Revit for some seconds and then uh, let me delete backups and then I will create a folder in the name of move Revit files file um, and then drag it drag this file into this folder and then I come here just let me click on it open it and then choose it after that let me just drag NWC format into that folder again so it means I separated that from the address that I had before uh, let me try it again so as you can see it didn't it, it was unknown to the software and as you can see there is a window here that the software is telling you that I cannot find an NWC format that you want to open so what you have to do is put NWC file next to NWF file both together simultaneously and if you change the name I don't know change the address and everything that you do any changes you do on the file you will face this window in the of resolve that you will have option for example you can just click on ignore that it has just this information that you cannot see any specific thing and then if you click on ignore all it will just remove any changes that you had before or also you can go on browse and then you can give a new address to that and open it and then open it that it will be opened like this as you can see on the screen so you have to be careful about this now let's go to the last format that we have you know Navis works that we call it in WD that we can call it it's just it is used for subscription or subscribing the files together the uh, actually format of NWD is for all of the shapes all of the things uh, for example the views that you can see here so it will make uh, all of the formats into one format it, it will turn all of them into one format and there is no link among the formats anymore it, mean, it means there is no link between NWF and NWC it's quite a different format so when we use it is the time that you want to share the files you've created before with a company person clients everyone that you want that, that you want they, they have access to all of the information you've worked before but they can't change any items we can turn it to NWD or we can go to file publish NWD or for example by save as you can just have save it uh, as NWD format there is no difference among the things I told you just you can just choose it everything that you like just if you choose uh, the the file that you want to just cho choose as NWD from the first two items that I told you you will see a window that asks you some uh, about the information that it needs so first we will talk about them in future and uh, you will get familiar with all of them completely just the another point uh, I'm gonna tell you um, it is about Revit it is good to know let me just open Revit again uh, so you can uh, go on insert uh, icon in coordination model the formats of NWC and NWD as you can see are readable here uh, NWF format as I told you before because it doesn't have any shapes so it cannot be readable in Revit here and it has just text as information but because NWD and NWC have 
shapes and geometry you can see them and it is really interesting action